is he okay? And welcome to Fast Forward Cooking. Tonight we're going to be making a chicken club ciabatta sandwich. So the real beauty behind this recipe is that you can make this with any extra chicken that you have from previous meals. So you have that chicken last night, you don't want to make anything else with it, and you just throw it in the sandwich. It turns out great. So first off, let's have a look in the ingredients that we have. So first off, we have some locally baked ciabatta buns, two slices of bacon per sandwich, a chicken breast per sandwich. Now you can use any chicken that you want, be it leftover or freshly cooked. Around half a cup of grated cheddar cheese. For the sauce, we have 15 milliliters of mayo, 15 milliliters of sweet green relish, and around eight milliliters of Dijon mustard. For the cold top on your sandwich, we're gonna have some sliced tomato, some thinly sliced red onion, some sliced dill pickle, and some fresh green lettuce. Okay, so once you have all the ingredients assembled, you're gonna wanna go and preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so once you've preheated your oven, you're gonna wanna come back and you're gonna wanna start assembling your lower half of the sandwich or the hot half of the sandwich. So first off, you take the bottom of the ciabatta bun and then you layer that with your bacon, chicken, and cheese on top. Once you have that assembled, you stick it into a 400 Fahrenheit oven for around 10 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. Okay, so while those lower halves are baking in the oven, you're gonna wanna start assembling your cold top. You're gonna wanna mix together your sauce for the top. So you're gonna to wanna to add your mayonnaise, your Dijon mustard, and your sweet green relish. Once all that is mixed together, you're gonna to wanna to spread it evenly over the top half of the ciabatta bun. And then you're gonna to wanna to add your onion, dill pickle, tomato, and lettuce on top of that. Once all that is together, you're gonna to wanna to add the bottom half to that by pushing them together at the same time. Okay, so once you've done all that, you're gonna have one dynamo sandwich. Now the best thing about this sandwich is gonna be that bacon on the bottom. It's just gonna pull together the entire sandwich and just make it into that perfect sandwich that you're gonna to wanna to eat every day of the week. Okay, so now that you've finished watching this week's video, you're gonna to wanna to watch next week's video. To vote for it, you're going to want to click on option 1 here and option 1, 2 here. I'm going to be counting likes again this week, I'm not going to be counting views. So you can view both of them, but only like the one that you want. So I want to thank you for watching my fourth episode of Fast Forward Cooking, and I'll see you next time.